I'm back today with a huge um, box opening. This is my biggest Ashton Drake box I've ever received. And um, this is, um, I'm getting kind of a two for one in this, in this box. Um, this is a sister's love. And I'm so excited because this is my first larger toddler from Ashton Drake. She comes with her little baby sister, and she comes, there's the big girl, very pretty. Wow, she's not, she is nice and big. I think she's 24 inches. I had debated on getting just another larger toddler from a different doll maker. So I'll pull them out one by one. So this is the baby sister. She is extremely tiny. She is 13 inches. Very tiny. You can see from the size of my hands and how small her little precious face is. She's very, very cute. Yeah, very pretty little baby. What a little princess. So I'm gonna take off her little headband. I wanna see her hair. Her hair is, her head is so tiny, but her hair is rooted really pretty. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put her aside and I'm gonna start pulling out big sister here. And that's really why I bought this doll, guys. The little one is just a little plus. Um, she's not something that I don't even know if I plan to display if I want to sit two together, which is super cute. I can, um, but her size is so teeny tiny, it's very, very, very obvious that. Uh, she's a doll, which all of these dolls look like dolls, I mean, but the fun part is having them look slightly realistic. So let me go ahead and finish unpackaging her, guys. She's got quite a bit of packaging on her. Um, she is rather beautiful. Her eyes are kind of a violet shade. Um, I thought they would be brown, so I can tell you right off the bat I'm not loving that. But she has like a purple outfit and it actually really looks pretty with the outfit and I think her face is beautiful. So I'm gonna keep pack unpackaging and I'll be right okay, back. So here's the details on, on these two beauties. I went ahead and finished unwrapping them. Um, I took off Big Sister's shoes. There are really like little flimsy, um, kind of cheap quality um, sandals, but they are very cute. They look to be the size of something, a shoe that is about three to six months or six to nine months baby shoe size. So possibly a one, two, possibly even a three. The set of the two of these dolls is by uh, Walt, Waltred Hannell. And this is also the artist that um, did uh, the Picture Perfect Baby, the vintage doll that I just opened up uh, a few days ago. Um, so the little girl, the little sister here, she is rather tiny and super duper sweet. I really love her. Gianna came in and took a peek at these dolls and she stole her away. And I said, wait a minute, I'm making a video. You can't take her but she thinks she's the sweetest, cutest little baby. She totally reminds me of like a preemie in the NICU. Just her size and her scaling, they actually did a really good job on the size of her scaling for her to be so tiny. Her hair is really cute and can be styled. Um, as a set, they are a lovely set and they're scaled very well. Um, obviously, um, the little sister here is far too tiny to be anything near realistic. She's again 13 inches, so she's very, very tiny. Um, I did pull her sleeve up, guys, big sister here, because I wanted to show you she only has one quarter limbs. That was a bit of a surprise for me. Um, her arms are extremely poseable. She's got nice, strong armature in it, so that is nice, and that's probably why they did that, so her arms could be in a position to hold the baby really well. Um, also, big sister has, um, she does have um, three quarter legs. Well, they might even be less than that, guys, because let me show you. I'm not gonna pull her pants down, but this is where her leg cloth is. So we're talking, I mean, it's probably considered three quarter, but it doesn't, three quarters usually like up to here. So I don't know what that's actually truly considered. You know I'm newer to the doll, doll hobby, so <clears throat> I might not be, um, uh, as hip to, to the lingo as I need to be, but you know, I'm learning as I go. So she does have a chest plate, which is cool. It's kind of funny though. It's like, she has a chest plate, but only has um, one quarter arm. So kind of funny, but 
I am a little bummed I can't put short sleeve um, outfits on her because I really like her size. She's super cute. She's beautiful in her face. I love her hair. I mean, once her hair is let out and these, these ponytails are fluffed, it's gonna be so cute. Um, her bangs are a little bit matted down from just being in a box. She, I can tell they're both brand new, guys. They smell, they smell delicious like the Ashton Drake dolls um, always smell. She has super cute little ears. She's got a lot of character on her face and she's smiling with some little cute toddler teeth. So um, very beautiful. Like I'm actually really happy with the looks of this doll, the size of the doll, the scaling. Um, and I'm really excited because I, I did, I told you guys I am growing my um, ethnic um, collection of dolls. So I was really happy to find a really beautiful African-American toddler. Um, and so the little baby's just a bonus, really. I, I really bought them for the, the larger toddler, but the little sister's super duper cute. They're adorable as a set. I did not have any clothes on order for big sister. I'm sure I have some things that will fit her, but um, I do like to change my dolly's clothes, as you guys know, um, as I get them, because sometimes um, the clothes they come in are um, just not the best quality because they're doll clothes, right? And I believe this holds true for this set of the clothing they came with. I'm not really loving the quality of the shoes and um, this does feel like the your typical inexpensive fabric that comes on doll on doll outfits but for um, display purposes and and them being matching it's super cute that they, they have matching um, clothes that say little sister big sister the color pattern is cute and modern um, and I wouldn't have any problem displaying them in this set. So, um, but what I am gonna do guys, I'm gonna go ahead and, and fix her hair up a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look to see what clothes I have on hand in my larger sizes to see if I do have something that I would wanna change her in. I know I do not have anything for little baby sister here because she's so teeny tiny. Um, the only thing I can think of that might become close to fitting her would be um, maybe items from uh, Nora or um, Little Sweetheart, some of the smaller dolls. They're not even anywhere near, like they're 16 and 17 inches, she's 13. So I'd have to find like micro preemie clothes, I think, to find anything to fit her um, or even doll clothes. So, um, but I'm gonna look through what I got and see if how a preemie might fit her. I, I can tell by how little teeny tiny her little limbs are, they're skinny, right? preemie clothes are not gonna fit like true preemie because I have definitely a lot of preemie little outfits and things but I'm gonna go ahead and just take a look anyway and I will be right back in what I find. Hey guys just want to do a quick check-in I am um, undressing down little sister here and um, I just wanted to point out what her limbs have she does appear to have armature in her she's not jointed but her arms do move freely and twist and turn so she's posable as well um, she has this kind of like a pants diaper it's not even it's like a you, you can see here there's elastic on the back um, but that's kind of cute she's really sweet I wish she was just a little bit bigger so we could find other clothes for her but I am pulling out some things I have to see what I can get to fit her because her face is super sweet and pretty um, but I will be right back. Hey guys, I did find something that worked for the both of them. Um, this is a preemie um, pajama and it is quite large on her. I did have to kind of bring it up and scrunch it in the back. You can see the looseness on her arms, which I expected. Um, and then we had a little bow. I just picked, clipped it in. Um, the larger uh, big sister is wearing a size uh, six to nine months dress. That was my daughter Gianna's. And the shoes she's wearing were also Gianna's. They are a size two and they fit very, very well. There is a lot of room in the front, but her foot is rather wide and um, it ended up being a perfect fit. So um, the bows in her hair I had, these were Gianna's as well and they matched the set. So I was able to put them in um, some more like real baby clothes. Um, that uh, match each other. So I think they look rather cute. I do have one other outfit I wanna try on them and I'll share that with you as well because as much as I like this look, I think I might like this one better. Um, this was Gianna's um, Easter dress, her first Easter dress. And I think it's, let's check it out. 
It's three to six months Gymboree, so hopefully that'll fit. It is a lot bigger than, even though that one is a size six to nine, I think this is actually bigger because of the layers and it's puffier. Um, and then we've got the shoes she wore with it, which were also three to six months. I also have some sandals that I found that were Gianna's that are size three. And this was a preemie set that Gianna had when she was in the hospital. Um, this pajama runs smaller. This is a Carter's brand. This one ran smaller than this brand. This is, I think, Wonderwear, guys. But um, I know for a fact this sleeper is very tiny. So that's part of the reason why I wanna try that on her. And I thought that these colors look cute together. So I may end up putting them back in this for display, but you know, it is a lot of fun to try different outfits on the dolls. And um, since I didn't have something special set aside for them, I kind of had to look at what I've got. So it makes me wanna keep changing to be happy with them. You guys, as small as this little girl is, I really like her. She's super duper cute. I love this one. Like there is no mistakes made here. I did fluff her hair. I redid her ponies and, and fluffed it out. She's super cute. My only one complaint about her, I actually have two, but the one that really um, is the one that I don't like the most is the violet eyes. I would prefer brown eyes. I like more natural colors, but um, her purple eyes don't really ruin it for me. Um, her face is so cute i i can't resist it to be honest and then the other complaint is the one quarter arm so i did have these um long sleeve Th this is a newborn size so that's part of the reason why it's a little short but it worked out because she does have this chest plate so i was able to kind of pull the onesie down and um, get it to work so that's going to be one of the workarounds i have to do for this doll she's always going to have to have a long sleeve onesie on unless she's wearing a, um, a long sleeve outfit Again, it's not a deal breaker just because I have Middleton dolls that have that same configuration and um, I, I live with it and I love them. So I figure I can love her just as easy. Um, I will likely pierce her ears. Um, I did want to point out the features on the baby here. The baby does have true brown eyes, which I found interesting. I'm just wondering why they didn't match their eyes up. Um, but they're a super cute set, guys. Both are really well done. This, I wish she was larger scaled and they sold her individually. Like, let's say like 20 inches. She's heck of cute. Like, I adore this baby. Um, I adore them both. So I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna do another outfit change and I will show you what that looks like. Okay guys, so here is the final outfit. Um, the dress again was Gianna's in a size three to six months from Gymboree. It does have the matching curlies in her pigtails. And um, these were Gianna's sandals, a size three. She came in when I was dressing her and I was looking at the Mary Janes and we thought because it's summertime, the sandals are more fun. It is a little busier, but it does look cute. And the pink here matches the shade of pink here. Um, and then what the um, little sister has on was an outfit that Gianna wore as a preemie. And I just found a little green flower that matched. Headbands do not fit this baby. They all need altered because her head is so teeny tiny. So the colors in these two outfits don't match perfect, but they're close enough with the greens and the pinks. Because um, really this is a coral shade and this is like a shocking pink color. But I think they look super cute as a set. Um, I think I'll be leaving them in this outfit for the time being. Uh, I'll probably do a little shopping to see what I can find for the little preemie baby. Um, I know I can find lots of stuff for her. She is definitely 24 inches. And um, scale wise, she's been the largest toddler I've had. Um, even with my um, Lee Middleton dolls. So I, I really like her guys. She's really, 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 really pretty. Her hair is fabulous. Like just love the hair. Um, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this hair. It's, there's a lot to it. The wig is, it's a wig and it's very nice. But I just wanted to share this with you guys and I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and review and with outfit changes of A Sister's Love by Ashton Drake. Um, Anyway, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Would love to hear from you. Hope you have a great day. Take care.